All right, let's look at these two problems. Real easy introduction into energy. Uh, all right, so let's calculate the total kinetic energy in BTUs of an object with a mass of 10 pound mass when its velocity is 50 feet per second. All right, so uh, we're wanting to, and it tells us to calculate the total kinetic energy, right? Capital Ke. Uh, for capital Ke, my uh, equation is 1 half mv squared. All right, so I've got one half m. It tells us the, the mass, 10 pound mass. All right, units are going to be real interesting here. Uh, and its velocity is 50 feet per second, and I'm squaring that velocity. So I could, I could put that in my calculator, but my units would be pound mass feet squared per second squared. Uh, and it's asking for BTUs. Uh, okay, so my units right now are pound mass feet squared per second squared, not BTUs. Uh, is there some sort of conversion factor that I could kind of go ahead and include right here in my equation uh, to get the um, to get units of BTUs? All right, let's let's look at energy power. Look at our conversion factors right here. Okay, so. Um, I'm, I'm maybe energy. I'm not sure where uh, this is going to be, but let's look for energy. Let's look for um, BTUs and feet per second. Uh, maybe it's uh, power. Um, okay, I've got a couple options here. Uh, BTU pound mass feet squared per second squared. Okay, um, look at that right there. I, I saw that feet squared per second squared right there caught my eye. So, And this is kind of in the energy um, area right here. And pound mass, and, and that's almost exactly what I, I was thinking about, right? I had pound mass feet squared per second squared, and I wanted BTUs. Um, Look at that right there. One BTU per pound mass is equivalent to 25,037 feet squared per second squared. I think that's the conversion factor we can use to get rid of pound mass, to get rid of the feet squared per second squared, and to keep BTUs. Right, This per pound mass on the left-hand side is kind of like pound mass on the right-hand side. Okay, I'm going to take that conversion factor and multiply it in my equation, just to convert. All right, um, I want to keep BTUs, so I, 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 one BTU per pound mass is equivalent to 25,037 feet squared per second squared. All right, so that feet squared per second squared cancels out nicely, and then pound mass, pound mass, yeah. I'm left with BTU. So I took 1 half times 10 times 50 squared, don't forget the square, and divided by 25,037, and I got uh, total kinetic energy, 0.499 BTUs. 0.499 BTUs. All right. So that one, it just asks, hey, total kinetic energy, um, 1 half mv squared, and then I just needed to do a unit conversion right there. All right. Now I'm not. You can see in this page and in the whole class, I'm not afraid to give English units. Uh, so be comfortable with that. Uh, so now look at number two. Let's calculate the total potential energy in BTUs of something with a mass of 200 pound mass uh, when it is 10 feet above some level. All right. So standard gravitational acceleration uh, would be 9.81 meters per second squared, but in, we are in English units, 32.2. 32.2 feet per second squared. All right, the total potential energy is mgh, right? Potential energy would be mass, 200 pound mass. Gravity, 32.2 feet per second squared, and a height of 10 feet. And we are the same place we were last problem. We have feet squared per second squared, pound mass, well, that's not what we want. We want BTUs, so the same conversion, one BTU per pound mass is equivalent to 25,037 
feet squared per second squared, I'm left with BTUs. Left with BTUs. So potential energy would be 2.57 BTU. 2.57. All right, so it just asks for the total um, potential energy right here of this object, MGH.